Alright, we've been uh, busy at work again and I want to show you the little thing that we did this uh, last few days. We squashed lots of bugs and um, did also some additional work on the system. So today it's going to be about the electronic system, the electrical system of the 737 and there's a so-called TR3 disconnect relay. Boeing put it in there to uh, separate the two sides of the electrical system uh, during a ILS approach so if one side gets faulty the fault doesn't spread to the other side. And you can't really tell if everything works but if uh, things don't work um, like for example right now I will fail the transfer bus number one. You see some things fail nothing really major, one of the fuel pumps and some uh, pedostatic heat and a few other things that you don't even notice right away so you think it's not a big deal, we can just fly our ILS approach, uh, the pressurization of course fails as well, I can probably just reset it, maybe it was just a transient, there we go and um, I'm on Approach. My co-pilot is flying, he's already on the center line, so I'm going to tell the autopilot that I want to fly an approach. Immediately it locks onto the localizer, we are right on it, and the glide slope is armed. Now I'm uh, emphasizing the glide slope because this uh, TR3 disconnect relay will open when the glide slope captures. I'll show you, I will put the auto brake on too, it's a regular setting, you can see anti-skid is working, auto brake as well and um, now if you think you got this uh, little failure covered you see it uh, keeps failing so we are stuck in standby mode now, now. and um, let's set that up real quick to hit right here I'm gonna put the landing elevation 200 feet below Frankfurt, so right about there and then the cabin will drive down to that new altitude. So here we see the glide slope come in and um, the smart pilot thinks he's got everything covered, this little malfunction, not a big deal, I'll just fly my approach and then uh, send the mechanics in <coughs> to fix the problem. Um, the runway might be wet but uh, I have my anti-skid and my auto brake, everything is working fine but now as you see things will happen when the glide slope captures I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see what's going to happen here we go glide slope captures and immediately we get a flashing warning light it's for the auto throttle, the auto throttle disarms now actually the DC1 bus is without power and that uh, brings us some other problems you can see the anti-skid is not working anymore and therefore the auto brake won't work anymore the autopilot is still flying the approach which is fine but um, speed is increasing rapidly I have to use manual thrust to bring it back so it won't increase too much now let's assume the runway is really slippery back there and I need my anti-skid to get down um, what can I do? Of course, the smart solution is disconnect your autopilot and immediately the relay will close again because now the glide slope mode is not captured anymore. You see the anti-skid is working again. I can recycle my auto brake and I just 25. have to fly the approach manually. If I would re-engage the autopilot, maybe even autopilot A, well, that doesn't make sense because I have the ILS set on the right side. And re-engage approach. As soon as the glide slope captures again, you can see the problem is back. Well, I hope that was uh, interesting. Well, hope dies eternally, as they say. And um, I promise we keep on working on this one, and you will get it at one point in time.